Okay, I've had a couple of questions on my setup, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the whys and how I set things up here in iMovie. First, I'm going to delete my plist. Um, if you're actually having problems with iMovie, it's probably a good idea to search for iMovie in your library preferences and, and delete them all. Um, iMovie will build a new one. Launch iMovie here. Okay, I have a couple things in my Dropbox, but we can do that later. Let me close that. Okay, the first thing I'll do is make it full screen. I'll actually keep the, the project library down here and my events up here. So let's switch those. Pick a event here and we'll pick a project um, I will turn off the audio because I don't like um, when I'm editing to be distracted by the audio unless I'm working on audio um, a lot of times iMovie will come like this and and if you're trying to edit like this it, it can get confusing so um, I typically keep my timeline in one straight line so if I need to if I want to show the audio I can look at that and see you know my background music I can see my titles and bookmarks and depending on the footage you're looking for, you can actually hotkey some of the, the different looks. And those are 8, 9, and 10, or 0. I typically keep mine on 9. Uh, some, other, some other things you might like is uh, 6 will bring up uh, your projects full screen. And you can you know, scroll through those like you do... Uh, you know, iTunes or something. And 7 will do the same for your events. Same thing. And if you use this button, you can actually flip between your events and your projects. Alright. Some other neat hotkeys are uh, 1, your music, 2, your photos, 3, your titles, for your transitions and five your maps backgrounds and animaniacs anyway I hope this has helped you uh, and as always thanks for watching